How you guys doing? My name is Mason Sylvia, CEO of Seven Generation Solutions, and I'm gonna show you how to set up your herb garden aquaponics system. Your aquaponics kit comes in three parts. Your grow bed and light stand, your glass aquarium, and the footer for it all to sit in. In addition, you'll find expanded clay balls, which is used as your growing medium, a three color spectrum LED grow light, a color adjustable aquarium light, two timers, a pump in the plumbing, and your choice of aquarium gravel. So the first step in all this is you want to clean the gravel. And you want to clean this gravel because it has dust and random particles that you don't want floating around in your system. The easiest way to do this is get some sort of strainer and a sink and rinse them. And I'm going to show you how I do it. When you're cleaning these clay balls, you want to make sure you have a clean bucket nearby so you can dump these in there and it'll make your life easier when you're adding them to your grow bed. Once you get done washing off the rocks, find the desired location for your aquaponic system. Add the footer, then place your glass aquarium inside that footer. Add the aquarium gravel, then add the grow bed, and then the clay rocks. There you go, that's your system. Now I'm gonna show you how to set it up. Remove the grow bed, get some water, and pour it in your tank. Before you add the pump or any type of water circulation, you need to make sure that your bell siphon outflow is pointed down at a 90 degree angle. This will make sure that all the water that flows out of the grow bed goes into your fish tank. This is your bell siphon and this is your bell. This controls the fill and drain system in your aquaponic system. You want to make sure that this is always inside of this container. This is the outflow for your bell siphon. Now the way this thing works is that when your grow bed fills up with water and it gets to the highest level it possibly can, it pushes water down here and breaks an air bubble, which creates a siphon. Now, what that siphon does is fills this up and drains it out, and it does that for 15 minutes every hour. So once you have the bell siphon all figured out, you add your pump. And your pump will put water from here into here. And this is what's gonna make your bell siphon work, and this is how your plants are gonna get their nutrients and their water. Let me show you how to install it. First thing, you wanna enter the water with your pump, and then all you have to do is come up here and shove the pipe right up onto the bottom of this, this pipe like that. The pump really doesn't have a, a special place where it needs to go. Some people will suction cup it to the bottom of the tank, the walls, have it floating wherever they want, long as it's plugged into the pump and into the bottom of the grow bed. What I like to do is suction cup it to the wall or suction cup it to the floor. And this really ensures that it's not gonna move around, it's not gonna get in the way of anything, and you can always hide it with tank decorations. So once your pump is set in place, you wanna check again your downstem and your pump line to make sure they are really connected tightly. You do not want that to pop off. Once you get the plumbing all figured out, you can add your aquarium submersible LED light. And the way you do this is you just sink it in the water, come in, and you make sure the suction cup, suction cup it right up to the bottom of the grill bed. Just like that, and then move the wire to the side. So after you get done setting up all your filtration, you can add your grow lights. Very easy to assemble. All you have to do is attach this to here like that. Press on both ends and voila, lights are attached. You wanna get out your outlet and your two timers. Now, these timers are very important. This timer is going to control your pump and this timer is gonna control your lights. And let me show you how to set these up. So when you're ready to set up your pump, this is the timer you wanna plug it into. This timer has 15 minute intervals for each hour. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure you push down each hour on the eight, nine, 10, so on. So at the top of the hour, you wanna push down and you'll see, let's see if I can't get that. You'll see how I push down, one, two, three, push down, one, two, three, push down, one, two, three. And what that will do is allow the pump to run for 15 minutes every hour and that will give you perfect flow and a perfect cycle and let your roots get oxygen like they need. This is your light timer. 
two ports for your two LED lights to plug into there. Down is on and up is off. So typically you want to have these lights on for 10 to 12 hours. So I would say start at 8. Push that down. Start at 8 and come up at 8. And that's normally what a cycle will look like. So at 7 o'clock now, I would turn this to 7 and just plug it in. It's ready to go. Nothing to do after that. This is what the outlet should look like when it's all done. Timer's plugged in with the pump and the two lights and any other add-ons that you want to put on. Very simple. Now your herb garden aquaponic system is all complete. Let's turn the lights and see what this thing looks like. Wow, it looks beautiful. Make sure to hit like and subscribe and watch that link right over there to see how to put plants and fish in your aquaponic system. Thanks again for watching and have a good day.